Hey everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I just wanted to make a quick video for you today on one important point. I wanted to talk about the importance of using multiple techniques when doing remote sensing or geophysics or locating. Um, it's critical. Now, sometimes you're going to get clients or you know research institutions that don't give you funding to do that and you'll be sucked to using one and you'll try to pick the best one that you can. However, there's a couple of really important reasons why you need to use, or should use, right, when you can, more than one technique. I'll go over the popular one that, that people speak about all the time, but I'm gonna give you then a second benefit um, that most people don't realize. So the, the, the one that most people talk about is, um, you know, the benefits of using multiple equipment is each piece of equipment locates something different or each piece of equipment responds to a different physical property of the earth uh, or the target. So, you know, if you're using, if you're a utility locator, civil engineer, and, and you have the ability to use both, you know, AM locators and a GPR, you should do your best to do that because they locate different materials, right? Um, EM locators tend to locate uh, materials and pipes that can hold a current much faster than GPR can, but GPR can locate pipes that are made of materials that don't hold a current, right? Like PVC or, or fiberglass or something like that. Um, you know, same thing when you're using GPR and a magnetometer to do an archaeological survey. Um, a magnetometer, you know, is going to locate potentially, you know, uh, burned pits and things like that better than a GPR is, but a GPR may be able to identify uh, unmarked graves. Uh, better than a than a magnetometer can. So they, you get the benefit because they be, they both uh, lo, you know they both respond to different uh, material properties. However, there is another very important reason that it's worthwhile to try to use two techniques. And when you're in the field or you're on a project and you have two techniques, you know, or two instruments with you, and one of those instruments conks out on you, and it doesn't work, and it starts to act funny, and you can't get it fixed then it's great to have a second technique that you can use in order to still collect data and locate your targets. Um, this is an un, you know, this is overlooked. This is overlooked, I think, by a lot of people, the, the importance of having multiple techniques, just in case one of your pieces of equipment goes down. So this is particularly important if you're in like a remote area and you don't have, um, you know, access to, to you know, technical service, you know, if you don't have access to, to a phone, um, you might struggle to get in touch with a manufacturer. So on the project I was just on, I was actually having some trouble with the magnetometer, but luckily I had cell, so cell phone service, well, it's a mouthful, cell phone service, and I was able to call the manufacturer and make them walk me through a number of troubleshooting uh, steps in order to fix it. But I know people who often go to the mountains of Peru. Now, you don't have to be that remote necessarily, but they go to the mountains of Peru, and sometimes if, if your equipment has trouble, you won't be able to use it up there. And so, you know, having another one or two pieces of equipment that are gonna measure something different, you know, is important because you can still collect data on your survey. So it's an overlooked reason to use multiple methods. Number one, you get to characterize everything uh, 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 more comprehensively and number two is it's a backup plan if one of your pieces of equipment goes down that has happened before uh, to many people and you know the benefit of if it's the only piece you have and it goes down and you can't get access to another one or you can't get access to you know technical support to fix it uh, then you're done so anyway I hope this was valuable I hope you know again a small little point encourage you to use multiple pieces of, of equipment on your projects for multiple reasons um, and uh, if you have not signed up for our free introductory training video, then go to learngpr.com and sign up for that. If you thought this was, uh, you know, this can help somebody, please share it around. If you thought this gave value, please share it around. Uh, and thank you as always for watching, and I will uh, speak to you again soon.